Studio One 5.2 also brings some very exciting updates for Fader Port 8 and Fader Port 16. It is now possible to cascade them to have a chain channel view instead of two independent ones and there's also some very exciting other features, so let's check it out. It is now possible to combine multiple Fader Port 8 and 16 to increase the number of simultaneously accessible channels, which was the number one feature request from our Fader Port users. The device order can be configured very conveniently inside of the Control Surface Placement dialog found in the External Devices menu. See, just drag and drop your order around. The Fader Port 16 can be the first device or the Fader Port 8. Or of course, you can also keep them completely independently by simply not grouping them. One of the major new features of this update is that FaderPod 8 and 16's All Bank is now always in sync with the Studio One Mixer console. Before, this was only possible if you would hit Shift and User Mode and Remote had to be activated in the console list as well. This frees up the user mode on FaderPod 8 and 16 to exclusively use it to have an independent channel view from Studio One's Mixer on the FaderPods. There's also a bunch of smaller but nonetheless meaningful improvements to Fader Port 8 and 16, so let's go through those in quick succession. When in Sense mode, the Bypass button on Fader Port will now bypass all Sense on the currently selected channel. Touching a fader will reset it to its default position, but only if you're holding down Shift at the same time. Previously, this would also happen when Shift mode was enabled permanently, for example, when switching to the alternative bank views. Activating a click and adjusting its level can be done for each individual output separately on the fader port now. To do so, press the Shift and Bus button to go to the outputs page, and then you can push down the little rotary encoder at the top left that is usually used for panning to activate the click, turn it on and off, or turn it to adjust the click level. And last but not least, FaderPort's shift mode latch behavior is much more refined now. This means that holding down shift to access a secondary function won't switch to shift mode permanently anymore. This was a much requested feature by power users in particular. Of course, pressing down just the shift button quickly will still take you to the shift mode. 